Hey everybody, Matt, SO Motorsports here. Just wanted to show you what we're up to with a little live video because I missed last week. We are pretty busy. I just didn't get a chance to edit. Go ahead and follow us on Instagram there, SO underscore Motorsports. But we got our stainless steel exhaust ready. The old exhaust is officially out and in the trash. Today, I just stripped off my air pump and my air control valve. And we got the front suspension all dialed in to go into the car. So it's got lowering springs from the race car. It's got new shocks new top mounts. It's got the same dust boot I just cleaned up and the same shock insert. It's a pretty unique exhaust. It's got some stainless steel lines from the race car and uh, obviously the brake rotor's a little rusty. You might take them out to paint them. And I just painted our calibers black. So it's all ready to go in. Freed up a little space in our engine bay. I'm going to try to get a video out for you guys on Thursday, but all this space in here was occupied before. So from about here all the way, and then the air control valve went in here, and that's where the headers go. So it frees up a lot of space, easier to do with the headers out and the front suspension out. As you can see, my pulley has two belts, one for the alternator and then one that went right here to the air pump. You can also see I snapped a bolt off. That was a pain in the butt. So what I'm going to do, grab me a double belt pulley. They're pretty common. Two stock alternator belts, brand new. And run them between this is the water pump down there's the main pulley and the alternator pulley and we'll get those done rat's nest probably gonna delete for now it's okay um, if there's a newish brake booster it's just one that we know works and a brake proportioning valve from Willwood for the back because sometimes when you put stainless lines in and a rear end swap it uh, locks up we did swap the rear end top uh -huh. I don't know if I've made a video on that, and I don't know how much this is dating me, but here is my air pump. As you can see, we drilled out the stud from this side. I didn't realize it went through to both sides. So once I um, drilled this out, I tried to whack a hammer. It didn't come off. Luckily, I had just enough angle to drill a hole because it sat in there, something like that, and I snaked in through this gap right here. I can't see it really, but right there's the mount, this little. And I snaked in through here to get there with a the drill bit. And luckily enough, this guy came off perfectly. I drilled pretty much straight through. And it snapped right on the midline. Worked out, but uh, obviously not the smartest way to do it. Extra tank, if anybody needs one, hit us up. We might keep it. Got some ducting for the radiator off the race car. There's our wheels. So, kind of today's update. I'm going to clean up now. Go home and try to work on a video from you guys. Probably be about the KZ250. What's sitting over there in the corner? So, thanks guys for watching. Please. Like, comment, subscribe. It helps us a lot. Helps us a lot. And please go to Facebook, facebook.com slash the SO Motorsports and find us there. Instagram at under, uh, SO underscore Motorsports and find us there. That's probably where I post the most, up, most updates and the most up-to-date things. So you'll know exactly where every project sits if you go over there. Otherwise, if you like this, uh, follow us. Pretty soon should be on the road. Maybe about this weekend we can probably bleed the brakes. I can get the front end tomorrow, hopefully, and get the block off plate where the ACV was tomorrow. All right, guys. Bye.